sun, moon, and stars into it. Greetings, signs and moons. And of course, I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the mothership. I do appreciate all of you for your likes, your donations, your shares, the confirmations you send me through email, the positive energy you show me, the positive energy you show yourself, and overall the positive way you show up in the planet. Now, with that being said, let's get ooh, let's get in there like swimwear. Now, you know I gotta remind people, I got a doppelganger, a copycat, a replica, a clone. I wanna be me, but try to do it better than me. An English professor, a WhatsApp bandit, and a voodoo high priest or priestess all floating through the comment section. But I also got a lot of love. <sighs> that voodoo high priest or high priestess is promising to get your love back for a small fee of $39.99. All you got to do is sign your life away on the dotted line. Do not fall for the okie doke people. If you have to bend someone's will for them to be with you or for you to be with them, they don't need you and you definitely don't need them. This is past, present, or future energies. Parts may resonate with you, parts may not. Take what's for you and leave the rest. This could be someone in your environment, someone thinking of you. You are thinking of them, an ex, a co-worker, a past over loved one. You may or may not know these individuals. Any and all information that you need about me, or this reading will be in the description box below, including a link where you can receive a free birth chart from a reputable site. No affiliation to me. Now, with that being said, let's get in there like a swimwear. I don't know if I said it twice, but hey, it sounds nice. I'm in my rapping and rhyming mode tonight. Interesting enough, before I turned on the camera, I heard Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. So... Didn't quite know what that message was, so I Googled it. According to Britannica.com, Jekyll and Hyde is a thing. It's defined as someone who is sometimes good and pleasant and sometimes very rude or bad. And apparently, this was based on a true story. Now back to the reading. Now, we have the Queen of swords and as you can see this queen don't have no sword because this is someone that is comfortable with the information that she's obtained now when this comes out this tells me that somebody was in the midst of a transition they was in the energy of accomplishing another element okay this is somebody that's possibly on their, I mean, on their way to stardom, but this could be somebody that's on their way to becoming uh, a divine feminine or divine masculine in the past. Okay, so this is after you went through the, the seven stages of grief. Okay, the whys, the why nots, the haves, the have nots. Okay, the woe is me or whatever. Okay, so this is about some information that you obtained in the past. Now we have a lot of LGBTQIA community. Uh, cards on this table. Now, before you click off the video, this could be you or someone in your environment. So be mindful of that. We have the gay, and this is no dig on the LGBTQIA community. I am a LGBTQIA member. I am what they call queer. <laughs> All right. No, I'm not into the same sex, but if you are, that's none of my business. Okay. We have somebody that pays for the company of others, whether if it's male or female, or they get paid. Take it how it resonates. Now, in the last reading, right, this energy came up. Now, this is, I believe, a, <laughs> this is a sequel. <laughs> this is a sequel of the last energy, but this is a different perspective. Now, you may have sense that this person had extracurricular activities going on, right? In the last reading, it talked about someone having darts thrown at them because of some information that was told to a group of people by someone that was throwing stones and hiding hands. And ultimately, they just didn't want their secret out. Now, that's fine and dandy, right? Before you get into your emotions collective, okay? However, 
This is someone that tried to scapegoat you and then, you know, they tried to put you in a coffin. All right. Now, if this person would have just moved on. OK, without trying to end you, end your career, end your stability, possibly pay for spell work. All right. They wouldn't be in this predicament. We got the mountain in the woods that could be significant. Now, in this lineup, this is giving me broke back mouth. Some of you, you are familiar with that. Somebody could go on secret excursions and things of that sort. We got all money ain't good money. Now, this card right here, this plays into the Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde energy. And the reason why I say that is because some people believe that that whole little scenario, you know, was someone that may have had schizophrenia. But from my research, that wasn't even a thing back then. So what this person may have is have had was some sort of personality disorder. Are multiple personalities. Now, I'm not a doctor and I don't profess myself to be. But in this movie, it also talked about where the book, the book talked about a doctor, right? A doctor that um, was trying to repress their emotions, okay, or the darkness within them. And so they compartmentalized, if that's the right word. They disassociated them, disassociated themselves from this, I'm hearing, heinous crime. Now, of course, there's going to be some difference between the book and the movie. Some of you, you're familiar with the book. Some of you, you're familiar with the movie. Some of you, you have no idea what I'm talking about. But since I have not read the book and I haven't watched the movie in a while, I'm only going by recollection, okay? Somebody was trying their darnness to make this person out to be a good guy. They didn't want to believe that this person was capable of harming, I believe, a woman in this book. Okay. Or the movie as well. Now, how this ties into this reading is pretty self-explanatory. Now, this person may not be a doctor either. But this person may work with their hands. They could be a mechanic or they, they, they fix things. Obviously, we have a reader here or somebody that took money to cause some sort of obstacle in this Queen of Swords energy. Right now, keep in mind, this Queen of Swords could be a male as well. OK. We have somebody that has a disassociative identity disorder. They have strong emotions. Okay. Repressed memories. They're very stressed and they're tense. They're, they're, they have a lot of tension on their shoulders here because of some sort of information that a third party may have about their secret rendezvous. Somebody may operate out of a, pace, a place of trauma. So they attract people that are filled with trauma. This person may be comfortable with energies like that because they can they know they they it's a comfortable energy even though it's an unpredictable energy. We have persuasion over an audience. So this could be someone that have a platform. You could have a platform, they could have a platform or they have pers persuasion over a community of people uh, that they were lying to, okay? Obviously, scapegoating, triangulating. This would be an individual that would get in one person's ear and talk about one person and then get in the person's ear that they talked about and talk about you and or other people. You may recognize this energy. This person checked out a long time ago. Okay. For some of you, you may not have dealt with your emotions. You may have kept things quiet. But what I'm getting is this is third party. This person that they were either paying to have these secret rendezvous with. Or there's a third party that was trying to, 
you know, say this person wasn't capable of doing something that they did. We have somebody that is violent. They're into blue collar crime. They may have a criminal background. Okay. This person is in the energy of possibly running into obstacles here because I, this is giving me somebody that, <laughs> okay, somebody that you may have rejected because you sense, I heard delirium, you sense something about this person wasn't quite right. All right. Now, for some of you, this person may have tried to put a curse on you or they may have lied to you or about you to people in the community where they live, where they work, where you work or whatever. This person has repressed emotions. Okay. This is giving me narcissistic uh, energy. Okay. This person don't have no preference. It's because they drain people's energy. Now, with the all money ain't good money, this is telling me some money exchanged hands to, uh, and it became an obstacle for someone or they tried to create one with a bizarre events, situations or environments. Now, ain't that a blimp? Somebody went down a rabbit hole. Now, you could be very magnetizing at this time. Nibiru or the blood moon may be significant. You are somebody that's very experienced at what you do. You may attract a lot. Okay. You could be an alchemist. You could be an engineer. You could be in the medical field or you can just have this healing energy. Okay. You did not want to waste your time on this individual. And for some of you, this person felt slighted by that. Now. I feel like for some of you, this may have been a st uh, in between. This may have been someone that you met in between uh, learning how to instill boundaries with the Queen of Swords being here. Okay. Now, if this is somebody that's married or they have some sort of uh, common law situation or they've been with somebody for a very long time here, this person may be in defense mode. And this is also what I'm getting that this is a part of uh, the people that were throwing shade. Okay. Because somebody did not want to believe in a truth here. This would be someone that it will sit up in your face and lie. Now, you know, they lying, but they don't care because they're trying to save face. Okay, we have whatever is lovely. Think of these things. Matthew, what is that? 4, 8, I believe. It's, it's kind of small here. Somebody's name could be Matthew. This could be in regards to St. Matthew. Something could happen in uh, the summer months. July 4th could be significant. Somebody could be a runaway, a lashkey kid, or they were dealing with one. Okay, for some of you, it may be a case open about a minor. Somebody wasn't paying attention to the synchronicities. They weren't paying attention to the relationship that they were in or a relationship that they needed to manifest. Somebody was definitely creeping, sneaking and freaking with somebody around the corner or down the street. They contracted a SEX demon. Okay. A sexually transmitted disease or a sexually transmitted demon. Please seek medical attention. Rather, if it is psychiatric attention or actual do, uh, actual doctor, being that we have this whole Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde thing going on. Somebody's possibly used to always fixing things. Now, somebody could have met somebody on the strip. Or in a club. Okay. And somebody is real. And somebody that they proposition here. Is realizing all money ain't good money. Very interesting. Somebody likes appreciation. I feel like you were trying to help this person. And somebody was trying to help them. By enabling them. They possibly didn't think it was. 
uh, hindering this person, but it definitely was. Somebody lacks res restraint. They see no as uh, a challenge. This is somebody that wanted to oppress you or they oppress their emotions. Okay. This is somebody that does not take accountability or responsibility for their energy. They lack restraint here. They're out on the knowledge. This is somebody that repeats past life cycles or they do things obsessively and continuously. This is someone that does the same thing and expects different results. Some sort of truth came out. Now. Unbeknownst to you, for some of you, this is a part of your calling here to share some sort of light on this individual because they was messing with your um, um, character here, with integrity being here. They were trying to care, um, uh, assassinate your character. I was going to say character assassination. You were dealing with somebody that was in survival mode. Okay. Yeah, this is this, this is definitely about future partnerships, knowing who to give your energy to. Some of you, you may have became celibate after this. Okay. Somebody may not have known that you were celibate and they may have spread some sort of lie that they just can't take back here. It, yeah. It's kind of like they trapped them on set. They trapped their, their own selves. This person may have moved out of town. Why is the Queen of Swords here, please? shift. There was some sort of shift. Somebody was operating out of lust. They lack discipline and we have survival. So maybe you were in survival mode. Okay. You may have uh, called this here. Yeah. You may have called this energy in because you were in this energy of lack. Now, some of you, you don't realize you are master manifestors. So whatever energy that you manifest out of is what you're going to attract. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you're more self-aware now. Now, you may have felt like this was going to be a one night stand or this was a relationship of uh, convenience here, but somebody wasn't operating out of integrity. Somebody was doing things behind someone's back, and I believe it has something to do with uh, this person operating out of lust. This person, I feel like this person may have a lot of apps on their phones. They may do a lot of hookups, okay? I'm hearing jacked. Why is uh, Stay Safe here? Somebody may have accused you of being a part of the LGBTQIA community because you didn't want to sleep with them, <laughs> okay? Some of you, you may be, and you still don't want to sleep with them. So, yeah, somebody is trying to cause a misfortune. 215 could be somebody's birthday. This is definitely speaking about somebody that was not cautious of their thoughts, feelings, actions, and deeds. This person may be suffering from headaches or nightmares. They can't focus. They're experiencing unexplainable unfortunate or misfortunate events. Okay, this person is stricken with grief here. All right. Somebody, again, may have some some sort of STD. And I'm not saying that all people in the community have that. I'm saying that this person, I want to check, they, 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 they behind can't cash. Why is pays for it here? We got higher self on the fence. It's a fence. So since it's on the fence, I'm going to have to read it on the fence. Right. We got higher self, inner child, and keep going. And that, the ex hey, some of you was like, uh-uh, this ain't the one. You knew it, you felt it, and you completed a cycle. Some of you, you realize that this person has some subconscious healing that needs to take place. Maybe you feel like you have to heal your inner child. We never stop growing and we never stop healing for some of you you may be trying to balance your energy because you got someone throwing negative energy at you i feel like this person may have said that you were you know i i got this a couple of months ago that you were a lady of the night or a um 
a man of the night in an attempt to assassinate your character here. Somebody was definitely childish. This is, again, somebody that repeats past mistakes. Now, this is telling me that they did this to someone before you. Okay. This is someone that doesn't know spiritual laws, universal laws, and they don't respect man-made laws either. Again, this is something that was destined for you because you gained some sort of wisdom here. For some of you, this may have, um, you may have really started to realize that you had some sort of gift, the gift of prophecy or discernment. This person was sent as an obstacle, a blockage here, but they were also, well, not, they were sent as a lesson for you to know your strength and what you were capable of. False, I'm really gay. Why is this here? Lust, the unknown. So this person doesn't know what's going to happen to them. They possibly don't know what happened to you, especially if you moved. Okay. We got control. Yeah. So for some of you, somebody may live in your vicinity. Okay. Somebody's trying to think of a way to clean up a mess that they created. Now, for some of you, this person, you may have lived in the vicinity of this person and you may not have known that or they were dating or doing some extracurricular activities around the area that you lived in. You may have ran into this person a lot. OK, somebody got taken for a ride because somebody, oh, possibly to the mountains, to a park or something like that. There was some sort of business deal. Somebody could have went to some secluded place and something may have taken place here that caused somebody to be in their fields with cosmic flow. Somebody lacks impatient uh, uh, patience here because you completed some sort of cycle or they lack patience and maybe possibly um, kept paying for readings or kept paying for something, some sort of ill will. I feel like this person is in this energy of this rabbit hole. This person may feel empty or void. They may have wanted you to feel that way. Something that some truth you spoke in the past, people are aware of it now. They may be these friends or family members that they were hobnobbing with. They may have confronted this person and they may have ghosted someone or ghosted the environment. All money and good money wise is here. Self-reflection and challenge. So somebody took some money to do something diabolical and this person is realizing that that wasn't the right thing to do. They, they took some sort of action here, something that was corrupt. They possibly wanted you to slow down or they wanted to slow you down or they want they didn't want something to come to fruition or to come in your in your favor. We got order in reverse. They didn't want you to grow. They wanted you to have chaotic energy. They wanted your fortune. Look, they, they didn't want you to be fortunate here. I'm hearing this happening to them. Because something shifted in your life. And I believe that for some of you, this you actually left. An environment. Okay, in this environment, it was possibly chaotic. You may have had a lot of arguments um, with your neighbors or there started being like a whole bunch of things that you can't explain happening in your environment. Disassociative identity disorder. Why is this here? Somebody may have pretended to be you online. Or somebody in their family is doing this to them. Or doing it to you. Yeah, decisions in reverse. So whatever they, they sought out to do, this could also be somebody doing a return to sender or a reversal. So somebody wanted you to feel chaotic. They wanted you to black focus. They wanted you to have misfortune here. They wanted bizarre events to take place in your environment. This person wasn't operating out, operating out of their higher self. This is someone that needs to heal their inner child. Somebody may feel like they can't sit still. Like somebody may have 
restless leg syndrome or something like that. This is what I what I feel like somebody lacks restraint. They don't know how to stop themselves. Decisions in reverse. Why is this here? Detachment. So this person needs to surrender this energy. 414 could be significant. 524 could be significant. 619, 519, 326 could be significant. Those could all be birthdays. They could be numbers or whatever. We have 333. Three, three. Ain't that? Oh, no, that's 335. Three, three, yeah, 335. Three, three, so this is about you using your intuition while you were, I don't want to say placed in isolation, but somebody may be going to jail. For not using their intuition. They may have tried to bind you. In the last reading, a binding energy did come out. 618 could be significant. That could also be 69. This is talking about yin and the yang. Balancing masculine and feminine energy. But it's also about balancing light and dark. They go that Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde energy. Somebody may be getting a psychiatric evaluation. 323 is, yeah. Somebody walked away from the situation, but somebody also may be in like a, what is that, five steps program, if I'm saying that right? Like, yeah. Somebody have, may have went to a halfway house or some sort of recovery uh, center to avoid going to jail. Like somebody's taking some sort of treatment here. Somebody could also be into illegal gambling or this person just takes risks. And because they take risks, they create a lot of unnecessary obstacles. Somebody could have been traveling or trying to navigate through some negative energy that they paid to have sent towards you. Yeah, and now they like fear for something. You could have a platform and you have persuasion over an audience. This person may gang stalk you. Yeah, light in the dark. <laughs> you may help to guide people out of a dark place. We got loyalty. Okay, so this person, I feel like you are this loyal person. So you may have learned that loyalty, uh, I'm hearing loyalty trumps love. You may be an individual that are used to people backstabbing and betraying you. This person may have used love a lot. They may have told people that they loved you or whatever, but you didn't feel the love. Okay. Matter of fact, you felt uneasy. This may this may have been someone that came in and tried to trigger you, uh, argue with you to drain you of your energy so you don't have the energy to, to, to move forward. Yeah, I, I feel like there was a lot of energy harvesting around this individual. Okay, this person may have had like a generational curse or a, a poverty curse or they had karma from things that they did in the past. We got frustration in reverse. Okay. I feel like you were loyal to yourself and this frustrated this person. You trusted your intuition here with light in the dark. Like somebody wanted you to be down so bad. I'm hearing, but you got, you got rid of this person. You had your eyes trained on the prize, on the future. It's like you met your higher self and you didn't steer from that. Yeah, you have some sort of courage here, some sort of spark was lit abundance and introspect yeah after you went okay some of you you had to think your way out of a difficult time or you had to train your mind here yeah some of you you yeah you had to train your mind for some of you you were entering this queen of swords you were entering this Queen of Swords energy because you were coming out of some dark night of the soul, okay? Because this could be, for me, the Accursed Valley is like Yeshua or Jesus when he was sent to the underworld for 40 days and 40 nights. 
this is relevant. Somebody may have been going through some sort of awakening here, some sort of ascension. 33 could be significant. Okay. So. I'm hearing light at the end of the tunnel. In the last reading, I was as I was clearing up the table, I seen labyrinth. Now, labyrinth is not labyrinth are not labyrinths, excuse me, are not to be mistaken for mazes. A labyrinth is just to break it down in layman's terms, if I'm saying that correctly. It's only one way in and one way out of a labyrinth. It's not a maze, okay? It's not, you know, I can go in this way and find an outing. No, the way you came in is the way you got to go back out, okay? And I believe that is by you staying in this energy of integrity because somebody was possibly watching you. Okay. Some of you, you had to go in and heal that energy of always being in survival, not trusting in your spiritual gifts or not having faith here. So abundance is here. We're talking about, what's that? I'm hearing milk and honey. However that resonates with you. For some of you, you had like a lack on you. You may have felt, you may have been operating out of a space where you were attracting negative energy because you still hadn't healed something, something that was buried deep inside of you. Bizarre event. Situation or environment, appreciation. Okay, rest. Okay, so yeah, I feel like you you operate out of this space of gratitude. Okay, you appreciate the little things. You may... Yeah, I feel like these people may be gossiping about you or they were in the past. And they were that red moon again. That's significant Significant to someone. Some of you, you on all gas, no breaks. You, you may drink a lot of caffeine, whether if it's tea or if it's soda or if it's coffee. But, but I mean, this could be a natural high as well. You're appreciative, you're appreciative of being able to come out of this dark place, but not only that. Somebody lacked appreciation for you. I do feel like you may have predicted something. Some of you, you're in this energy of thankfulness. You may be someone that get up and um, you thank the creator or whatever it is you believe in for not leaving you is what I'm hearing. Yeah. For not leaving you in this dark place. You may be reflecting on some times here. We got 411 there, 311. That's significant for somebody. All right. Uh, also, we got 11 here. You may be seeing a lot of 11s or numbers that add up to 11s here. So, yeah, you. I feel like you're going back and you're doing some reflection or you will be in the future seeing how far you've come out of this dark place. You may be shining this light. OK, telling people about your rebirth or how you came out of this dark place by the art of detachment. You may have been someone that was very clingy in the past. OK, or you felt like you needed other people. And this is why you attracted this lesson. OK, so some of you it's very important for you to realize. I look down and said three, three, five, five. It's very important for you to realize why these people uh, our situations came into your life. So when they come up again, you'll be able to know, you'll be able to recognize it and know what not to do. For some of you, is 
you were operating out of your heart space too much. Like, and it's because of some trauma that you had experienced. You want to believe in people, and that's a good thing. But people take advantage of you when when they are not healed. They see it as an opportunity. You attract opportunists, people that have balanced self-worth, is not going to want to entangle themselves with a criminal or somebody that does think, you know, they say you could tell a lot by a person, by how they treat people they don't, they they don't need. Okay. So I feel like you are realizing the importance of integrity and character. Yeah. Some of you, you may come, you may get up, in the morning time and right before the sun comes up, you may do some, you may, you know, put out your appreciation into the environment. For some of you, I, I, you could be celibate with, with all this orange here. And on the flip side, somebody is overly active. And when it comes down to that, um, Yeah. When it comes down to that energy, somebody is overly active. This person definitely needs to cleanse their energy. Some of you, you're dealing with a calm man or a calm woman. They may have thought, they may have hooked up with somebody that thought that they was going to gain some sort of fortune by causing you some chaos. I feel like that ended very quickly. Mm-hmm. They may have realized here that they can't get rid of this person that was stalking you. And that's the... Okay. The process. Trust the process. I'm hearing you create your own reality here. Oh, somebody is into them them hallucinants. Okay, somebody may also be prescribed something that makes them hallucinate. For some of you, this person may have been putting something, some sort of hallucinate in your drinks. All right, I'm being guided to end it there. Yeah, they didn't want you to, they wanted you to be goo 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 deuces. <laughs>